Hello everyone, welcome back to Uno Learning. In our series on how to build upon your lexical resource in a much more effective and productive manner, we bring to you yet another video on the theme plants and flowers. Now let's go ahead and deconstruct the term botany. The part of speech it hails from is noun, meaning the science of plants, sentence, he has enrolled himself in a botany course at his university, which tends to the scientific study of biological and ecological aspects of plants. Some key terms derived from botany are, number one, botanic, adjective, meaning pertaining to the science or study of plants. Botanical, adjective, concerned with study or cultivation of plants. Botanist, Noun, one who studies botany. Botanize, verb, to study plants in their natural habitat. Paleobotany, noun, study of extinct or fossil plants. Next up, we have different types of plants. So we have number one, a thistle, a mushroom, an ivy, which is a climber, some small plants that are known as herbs, fern, and then bush. Next up we have word plural. The part of speech it hails from is noun, meaning all the plant life in a particular region, habitat, or geographical period. Etymology from Latin flor that means flower. Sentence, numerous salt lakes, ponds, and marshes have a remarkable seashore flora. Some key terms derived from flora are floral, adjective, relating to or depicting flowers, floret, noun, a little flower or a bud, florid, adjective, something that is strikingly beautiful, floriculture, noun, that means cultivation of flowers. Next up, we have few flowers and their names. So number one, we have pansies a rose, dandelion, orchid, a poppy flower, hibiscus, lilies, marigold, and lastly, tulip. Some other terms are, number one, perennial, noun, plants that can live for three or more growing seasons. Blossom, noun, a flower or a mass of flowers, especially on a tree or bush. Orchid, noun, farmed land with trees, usually of one type, for example, an apple orchid. Greenhouse, noun, a glass house designed for protecting tender or out of season plants against excessive weather conditions, be it extreme cold or extreme hot. Cultivated, verb, grown by humans. Groove, noun, small patch of land with one type of plant, usually trees. A bouquet, noun, attractively arranged bunch of flowers, which is usually used as a present. Horticulture, noun, branch of plant agriculture dealing with garden crops. Now let's look at some speaking questions asked in the IELTS exam on the theme plants and flowers. Number one, are flowers important in your culture? Are you good at growing plants? Why do people grow plants? And do Indian people give plants or flowers as gifts? Cue card, describe a plant you find useful. You should say its name, where it is commonly grown, what it looks like, why you find it useful. Now let's go ahead and try answering these questions with the vocabulary and words we just learned. Number one, are flowers important in your culture? In India, medical flowers are the most cultivated flora, which are largely used during auspicious events. They are used for decorations during weddings or for making garlands while worshiping. The major demand rises exponentially during the festival seasons such as Diwali and the Shara. Why do people grow plants? 
beyond providing fresh air, shelter, and food, plants serve several other purposes. Some people grow herbs for their medicinal properties. Plants like bushes, ferns, are used as an ornamental plant, as ornamental plants besides flowers. Ivy is an evergreen climbing vine that is grown to make extracts for medicine. Do Indian people give plants or flowers as gifts? Definitely, people in India like to present flowers to others in forms of bouquets for occasions such as birthdays, anniversaries, or dinners. People also give plants as they stay for a long time and provide benefits beyond their aesthetical values. Next up, we have a writing task question in IELTS exam on the theme plants and flowers. Trees can provide food, shelter, clothing, or medicine. Some people are of the opinion that government should allocate more funds towards planting trees in parks, whereas others think this money should be allocated to developing sports facilities in the parks. What is your opinion? Now try answering this question with the vocabulary and words we just learned. So that's all for today. For more personalized live IELTS and spoken English classes at affordable prices, enroll today. And don't forget to subscribe for more such content.